shoulder of intuition. In any city, in any country, go to any mental institution or halfway house you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, ask to visit someone who calls himself the holder of intuition. The receptionist will stand and lead you to a blank white door, but will not open it. Nor will you be able to. Return to the desk and wait for the receptionist to return as well. Repeat your request and wait silently while the receptionist fishes a keyring from the desk. The keyring will have twenty keys of various sizes, shapes, and colors. If you return to the door, you will not know which key to use to open it, and using the wrong one will freeze your body at the doorway for eternity. Return to the desk again and ask for the final piece of this puzzle. The receptionist will ask for your forearm and slice a fine line with a razor from the inner elbow to the palm. The receptionist will then sit back down and will fall totally silent, responding only to one question. How will I find the truth? He or she will respond. Though the truth is elusive, you will now be helped in finding it and disappear. You will glance down at the cut and find that it is now glowing the most brilliant white. Startled, you will drop the keys, and the glow will vanish. On picking up the keys again, you will find that the white glow returns only when you hold the correct key. If you can maintain your composure after this, move on and use the key to open the door. Pass through the door, and you will find yourself in a circular white room with twenty more doors. Point at each of the doors in turn, and your cut will glow the same brilliant white when pointing at the correct door. Take that door. The stairs lead to a trap door to an eternal fall, and you will be at the desk again. But a woman in a red coat will be sitting at the desk in place of the receptionist. She will ask for your forearm and rub her index and middle finger along the cut. It will glow strongly to your touch, and you will feel a sensation of cold so overpowering that you'd prefer to have it lit aflame. Make no move, however extreme the sensations. Simply stand there, as still as you can be, until she is done, at which point she will turn and leave the room. Do not follow her, or your quest so far will be for naught, as you will die an unimaginably painful death. Looking back to the desk, you will find a slip of paper that the woman has left behind. Picking it up, you will read, Whenever you find yourself lost, you will again be pointed in the right direction. Your pathfinding cut is Object 106 of 538. May it point you the correct way when you need it the most.